Good morning, this is Kevin. And today I am out with Sue Blount and we are at Cartington Water. And there you can see the lake, I believe it was man-made. But a very popular tourist attraction. And what we're going to do, we're going to be heading out through Carsington Village and um, do that part of the walk because we've never been to the village before. But we've got some lovely sheep just down here in the, in the field. Can't see any lambs. But I don't know... Is any of there or not? I can't see any. So we are going to be heading off in which direction, Sue? That way. So we're going to be heading off that way. So we will press on, see where we get to. And but we've chosen a really nice day actually. The forecast has been brilliant for this week. Oh, um, just in perfect time for my little holiday. So we're going to carry on. We'll see you a little bit later. But just over here to my left is some lovely daffodils and a clump of silver birch trees. We are just heading down now to... I think it was called Sheep Wash Hide down towards the lake, but we'd stopped because one of mine and Sue's favourite birds is a robin who has been hopping around in the trees down just behind us and we've been trying to wait for him to get some photographs. Um, Sue has put some little seed, a few bits of seed down, which he knows is there and he's came very close to it just now but it's, it's just not quite brave enough to come down to us yet but he's singing away in the trees and it's just beautiful to listen to the birds sing outside my room where I'm staying at about quarter to five five o'clock every morning I've got a blackbird singing away at the top of his voice and it is just lovely to hear these birds singing We've just entered Carsington. We're hoping to get to the village along this narrow lane, but we're both sides of the road. We've got hedges and it's a mixture of hazel and hawthorn. But obviously very little growth on there at the moment. It is just starting to come through, but uh, Obviously it's going to be a week or two before it actually starts really bursting open. <clears throat> but it'll be lovely when it does. But what we're hoping is there's going to be somewhere we can actually stop. Perhaps go, grab ourselves a drink. Before we start pressing on to the next bit. But we've never been to the visit village before of Carsington. As I said in another video, video earlier, that uh, we've cycled round, but never walked it. So it's gonna be interesting to see what it's like. Well, we've just arrived in Carsington uh, Village, and we are at St. Margaret's of Carsington. Let's have a look, see what it's up here. Lovely stonework. We've got the little, which I was assume was a once upon a time bell tower, but I can't, unfortunately, I can't get the whole of the church into the shot at the moment because. Okay. Just so the, it's just built into the banks of this hill. Lovely stained glass window there. But this is the, the 
the hillside and the trees go right up there. So we're just going to have a wander back down and round. It's almost got the look of a a castle. Oh, lovely two butterflies. We're seeing several butterflies today. So let's just have a wander down. I think we we can actually get into the church, which would be wonderful. Just have a quick look in there. Of course, this is on the walkers and hikers route. So here we go. Just close this door up. Shut up, there we go. So we're inside now. Oh, this is lovely. So we've got obviously the altar right in front of us, and the pulpit just to there. But there's some lovely stained glass windows which are right up there. Beautiful. Try and get some still photographs of these as well. And the inside of the church. But the organ is set right up there in a uh, I've lost I've lost the word for the um, the gallery, that's it. And it says the loft was erected at the only charge of S. Philip Gell, Bar Baronet Anno, Domini 1704, by consent of the parish at a meeting of Carsington for the can't think that use. the all oh, the use of his tenants in Hopton. Use spelt with a V, which is unusual. It's a quite a charming little church. Just want to see if I can get a shot up into the timbers up in the roof. It's lovely, lovely little church. Just coming through Hopton, and these lovely, just lovely stone built, Derbyshire stone built cottages. But just here is this building, which was at one time the hospital for Hopton. And there's a plaque up on the wall, and it says the hospital was begun in 1719 by Philip Gell, Gell Barmley, in his lifetime, and by him, England, and by him, end of his life, two poor men and two poor women of Hopton and Carson, finished by his executors and inhabited September 1722. So by that inscription up there, we're assuming that Carsington as it is now was just once called Carson. Um, so that's an assumption we have to make, of course. But there's still these lovely cottages all through here, which is just a perfect setting. We saw two little meadows just now, and I'm going to buy one, and Sue's going to buy the other. Lottery winnings, of course, has to happen, and we're going to set them both with wildflowers and uh, ponds for nature to enjoy anyway that's my dreams over for today and we're just going to press on we're going to head we're heading towards Carsington water now we've dropped down from Hopton now and we've got on our left hand side conservation area lovely water bowl all things like that but we've got birds singing around us all the time but on our right hand side here we've got reed beds 
which obviously at different times of the year would look completely different, but that is the Carsington Water away in front of us. But we're heading up towards the woodland you can see up there, which is called, very aptly, Paul's Wood. So clearly that was named after me, or Sue, or our family. Of course, I jest, sadly. But this is the reed bed, and there's nothing moving in there at all apart from the reeds. You know, at certain times of year you would have all manner of birds flying around in there, and reed warblers, of course, hanging from the reeds and disappearing into them. We're back on Carsington Water, as I said earlier on, but we've just come into this field where we're being warned that there's pregnant ewes and newborn lambs up through here. So we're just going to walk through very carefully and hopefully not disturb anybody. But obviously it's um, telling people with dogs to keep their dogs on leads, quite rightly so. But we've got just gorgeous little lambs up here, all asleep near mum, or their mums. Absolutely lovely. We've just come down from having a little bit of a break at the top of yonder hill. If, we turn, if I turn around that way, tilt it up that way, up there is a seat of uh, made out of an old tree stump. So that was rather nice, rather comfy. Come down and we've just found these wind chimes. And hopefully someone, if I can pluck someone from the audience, is gonna go along. <laughs> no chime. And it makes no noise whatsoever. So what we really need is not wind it's not wind chimes at all. Well, mind you, there's no wind. Now, what happens if... Not a lot. Well, that's a bit disappointing. <laughs> I thought we were going to get some really nice tunes out of that. For anybody that remembers Keith Moon, he was a drummer, we're not. Anyway, let me just pan around this way a little bit, because up there, not sure if the video will pick it up, there's a whole bank of gorse, which is out in flower, and it runs from probably to the top of the hill where we were and I'm looking up now to see if I can actually see the end of it which I can't from here but it is a way up there right up in the corner so you're probably looking at about I don't know three four hundred yards of it it's almost like a hedge of gorse it's absolutely stunning I must admit, I didn't spot it. Sue did. So well done to her. But it is quite a stunning display of all the yellow right up through there. So we're going up through the rest of this woodland now. And uh, we've got to start dropping down to the lower footpath. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes, well done. Yeah, not quite true, Sue. To the bottom footpath, which then we will eventually pick up the trail where we came down earlier on and then we find our way back to the car At the end of our walk now we've done a complete loop of um, the bit of Carsington water that we wanted to do we're back on the field that we stopped at earlier on so Sue and I have had a lovely day out here doing lots of walking we've got to get back to the car in about an hour and 15 minutes otherwise we're going to get locked into the car park so this is Kevin and Sue saying bye-bye for now. <laughs>